Hi, I'm Jeremy Honnold with Ramco Innovations and in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how to measure part thickness using two CD22 laser measurement sensors and the CDA controller. The only problem is I only have one sensor. I'm not sure where I'm going to get another one. Wait, 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 Jer Jeremy, I, I found one. Oh, wow, where'd you find that? Oh, well, we have a bunch of them in our warehouse. We stock them. Oh, that's great. Well, well now, now that we've we got two sensors, sensors let's, go let's go ahead, ahead and, and start get started. It. All right, so I went ahead and mounted the two CD22 laser sensors and had them facing each other with a 200 millimeter standoff. I found a stair step part to use as the target. The bottom step is around 10 millimeters and the middle as you can see here is 11 millimeters and the top step is around 12 millimeters. I placed the part in the beam so that it was looking at the center step. With the controller on the default screen, press and release the up or down arrow key until amp is selected. Press the A button then press and release the up arrow key to get to the app selection screen. Select thickness then press the right arrow button. The current thickness value will be displayed with a known target piece placed within the beam. Press the A button then use the arrow keys to enter the thickness. For this example I set the value at 11 millimeters, the thickness of the middle step. Press the A button to set the value then press the right arrow to go to the next screen. The next two screens is where you set up the upper and lower limit for the measured thickness. Then press the right arrow to go to the next screen. The next screen sets up the distance between the sensors and the part. The CDA controller can set for manual adjustment of the distance or just press the A button to execute an automatic teach of the sensing distance. That's all there is to it. Long press the A button to go back to the main screen and then press the right arrow to show thickness. As you can see, the sensor displays 11 millimeters. I previously set the three digital outputs so that the output 2 is the go output, output 1 is the high output, and output 3 is the low output. So when the sensor is looking at the top step, output 1 is on, and when the sensor is looking at the bottom step, output 3 is on, when the sensor is looking at the middle step, output 2 is on. In addition to the digital outputs, the CDA controller also has two analog outputs, one for each head, or the combination of the calculation between the two sensors. The, the CDA controller can be set up for differential, or thickness, or independent use. For more information, visit the Optex portion of our Ramco website at optex-ramco.com or give us a call at 800-280-6933.